ओके गाइज वेलकम टू सियोर सिक्सटी गुरुकुल सो फार एज बी ऑल नो डैट विद द टोकन ऑफ प्रॉमिसिंग फ्यूचर नाउ टुडे कुमार पंकज इज गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टेस्ट पेपर ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज विद अ वेरी टोकन ऑफ गुड आफ्टरनून टू एवरीबडी एंड द क्वेश्चन डिस्कशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट वी ऑल नो डैट बिकॉज समटाइम्स यू नो द आंसर बट यू आर अ लिटिल विट just like in the state of baffling confusing a state and that's why it is a very significant part how to tackle uh, the analytical portion of the question for example i am going to i uh, just read out the question select the option that can be used as a one word substitute for that given group of words this is a one word substitution and this question is very important because the question is based on root words and that's why it's a very important first of all i would like to explain prologue monologue epilogue and dialogue actually prefix and suffix are very important in this section because all the options are based on prefix and suffix that's why this question is very important a speech by an actor at the end of a play words i would like to give you a very important trick when you talk about uh, the end of the end of any play or poem or any novel if any a statement a speech or poem is recited then you should go for epilogue this is the answer answer is epilogue epi means at the end and log means conversation and part and written part also so epilog is the correct answer of this question so far as prolog what is prolog we all know that at the beginning of any play prolog means at the beginning of a starting of any play if any statement or a speech or anything like that is written then you should go for prologue so prologue is the beginning part and epilogue is the ending part and what's about the uh, mono mono is what mono is simply mono is what mono is single one so guys it's a very important thing mono means one and log means a speaker when any in any poem or any drama the narrator is one simply involved one speaker that is called monologue monologue is a very popular form in poetry so monologue is a very important one one single speaker is called monologue and what is duo it is two it is simply to so very important and log means conversation a speaking a speaker whatever you want as the situation you can decide so that's all about this question a speech by an actor at the end of play words the prologue epilogue monologue and dialogue so guys i have already discussed about all the four options and what's the answer i have already told you epilogue is the answer because we are talking about at the end of at the end of a play so you can keep in mind to feed in mind just e and end you can correlate both of interlink that's why it's a very important now i would like to tell you a uh, second question select the option that is opposite in meaning the given word incompetent first of all what's the meaning of incompetent incompetent meaning is what the person who is not proficient a person who is not competent a person who is not adept a d e p t that's why incompetent word opposite incompetent so that's why you have to choose the opposite meaning the opposite meaning is dexterous why dexterous because dexterous dexterous means a d e p t adept and another meaning is proficient proficient so guys this is a very important thing when you talk about 
the opposite meaning of incompetent so incompetent opposite meaning is adept and proficient so answer is dexterous now other options very important words so i would like to discuss forlorn this is a very important word forlorn is abandoned deserted left that's the for example many times in the novel in the drama forlorn child matlab abandoned child that's that's a very significant point so you keep in mind this word also because very important hopeless is a very easy and lucid word not necessary to discuss and desperate means simply hopeless desperation just like when you are in the stage of what disappointment just like in the stage of pessimism that is called desperate so that's a very important thing to keep in mind now next question is select the option that can be used as a one word substitute for the given group of words someone who lives in solitude what is solitude that is a very important what is solitude solitude means simply a lonely alone you can say that that's a very important word that is called one someone who lives in solitude it means recluse its answer is recluse what's the meaning of recluse recluse means also hermit and also anchorite anchorite so that's a very important thing so you should keep in mind a n c h o r i t e actually this is t anchorite hermit and anchorite and very simple so recluse person a person who abandons worldly and temporal life and simply lives alone and that's why the person is called what recluse and hermit also anchorite also and the purpose is mainly the purpose is ki don't try to just uh, simply you want to live far from the maddening crowd that's why it's a very important and other options are metropolitan are just like uh, having the traits of big cities big towns that is called metropolitan cosmopolitan universal acceptance for example delhi mumbai bangalore these are called cosmopolitan cosmopolitan where the uh, people culture systems habits of the world just assimilated that's why this is called cosmopolitan and refugee you know that take shelter that is called refugee in hindi it is called sarnarthi next question is sentence of a paragraph are given below in jumbled order arrange the sentence in the correct order to form a meaning and coherent paragraph guys i would like to tell you this is a very important thing first important thing first point you should keep in mind what the the cultivation of reading the cultivation of reading is very important the cultivation of reading is very important what's the why how to approach and solve the jumbled sentences most of the guys most of the students struggle a lot in just try to finding out the correct answer that's why it's a very important thing how to tackle this particular baffling this particular puzzle of the question because if you are lacking in reading habit definitely you will struggle a lot second important point is very important sentence structure this is very important point also sometimes uh, just uh, as a testimonial experience i would like to tell you ki most of the students are just in the gallery of confusion because they don't have the idea of what a structure 
so basic a structure you should understand of the paragraph then it is important to think over and third one is word power these are the basic traits actually these are the fundamental things you should develop within yourself and more importantly how to sequence the just like the things as the theme so that's a very important for example i am going to into the deeper and deeper of this paragraph for example lord ganesha the destroyer of obstacles is worshiped for his uh, wisdom and brilliance b option is people adore the goddesses lakshmi and lord ganesha on diwali c option is this new year diwali is marked by merchants establishing a uh, new account books and d goddesses lakshmi is also so guys first of all you have to decide which one is the first sentence and why this is a very important because answer is very clear you you know the answer but why this answer is correct it's a very important thing so i would like to tell you when you decide the b is the first v is the first first part it means b and now options you have to see the options like d a b c b a d c and a b d c c d b c so first of all people adore the goddesses lakshmi and lord ganesha on diwali it means the paragraph is based on the significance of lakshmi and ganesha on the occasion of diwali festival that's a very important thing to grip the paragraph to catch the paragraph to understand the paragraph because you have to understand so it's a very clear ki people adore the god adore means just like worship to worship like a god to that's that's why it, adore has lots of meaning worship also admire also but here is the meaning is worship people adore the goddess lakshmi and lord ganesha on diwali so first sentence is this one and now you have to decide the a option why why worship so there is the second lord ganesha the destroyer actually this is the second sentence so very important second lord ganesha the destroyer of obstacles is worshiped for his wisdom and brilliance it means why the people are in the habit of worshiping ganesha and lakshmi goddesses lakshmi and lord ganesha because they want to remove the obstacles because lord ganesha the destroyer of obstacles we all know that uh, just like obstacles means problems difficulties that's why the second is also very important so very easy to understand your answer is b a d c and now you just match this b a and d is gani goddess lakshmi is also worshiped on diwali for wealth and success and c is what is c this new year diwali is marked by merchant establishing new accounts so very easy so this is very easy so now it is your third and fourth option so that's the b is your answer and this is the a logical explanation why we have to choose b first and then a second and third d and c that's a very important thing to keep in mind now next question is identify the option that can be substituted as the correct idiom this is idiom idiom for the underlined part of the given sentence as soon as the principal came to know about the inspection in the school he put everything in perfect order in perfect order now you have to choose the correct idiom for this particular underlined word in perfect order we all know that idioms and phrases are very significant part of your preparation and we should develop the stock of idioms and phrases because idioms are peculiar expression to the language if you want to know through the separation of the words it is not possible so simply you have to keep in mind 
apple pie order apple of discord ali apple apple of one side this one is a very famous so this this is answer first of all what is answer answer is apple pie order apple pie order is answer but this one is a very important what apple of discord apple of discord means the root cause of dispute and conflict and apple of one side is what very dearly and loving to someone matlab lovely to someone very dearest to someone aankhon ka tara that is called in hindi now select the correct idiom that can substitute the at, uh, at least group of words in the give, given sentence shelly has been contemplating for a few days but still has not decided to quit the job contemplating this is a very important word contemplate what's the meaning of contemplate first of all i would like to tell you its meaning is brood over and another meaning is muse and another meaning is introspect so we all know that contemplating is used in the term of meditating on something introspecting on something brooding over something chewing the cud so its answer is chewing the cud what's the chewing the cud is the main answer why it is answer because its meaning is also to think deeply very easy meaning to think deeply to think profoundly that's why and we all know that beating the dust means defeated cooling one's heels just like be patient and getting into hot waters means getting into trouble now next question is select the most appropriate option to fill in the blank raghav had a good for a stage plays guys this type of question is very important to understand because we all know that this is a this question belongs to a very close options why because this section is called confusing section and that's why we we sometimes students are in the gallery of big confusion because they just try to understand ki which one is the best options to choose to fill up here first of all trip is wrong answer because we all know that trip is a special journey uh, to somewhere and so far as the troop this is also wrong answer because troop is very popular word is used in the army even troop is used for monkey groups also army groups also i mean to say that this word is related to army also and this word is also related to monkey also if you want to denote the group of monkey you can say that troop of monkey if you want to denote the army then you can say that a troop of army that's why and what is this word troop this is a this is also impossible because this is belongs to literature a kind of art and literature a kind of art and literature so guys this one is your answer and this belongs to a group of theater people a plays drama because it is a dramas plays means dramas so just like a for a stage plays so this trope is a very correct answer for here now guys next question the following sentence has been divided into parts one of them may contain an error select the part that contains the error from the given options if you don't find any error mark no error okay we hardly knew nothing uh guys i would like to tell you this is a child's play question 
a very easy question to understand because we all know that this is a fundamental part of grammar negative words never follows negative so we just try to understand hardly is also negative and nothing is also negative how it is possible to use both of them together absolutely not that's why hardly is also negative word and nothing is also negative word so this part is error part uh, we hardly knew about the manager who had recently joined so nothing must be removed uh, it it's a very important question so your answer is this one and why this is the explanation so far if you want more explanation i would like to tell you the difference between hardly and hard this is a very important part of adverb when you go through the chapter of adverb or practicing adverbs you should know and understand what is the basic difference between hard and hardly hard can be adjective and can be adverb for example he works hard he works hard here hard is adverb but hard truth now hard is adjective so far as hardly is concerned i hardly read this book it means not at all so hardly is adverb and hardly what type of adverb negative adverb that's a very important so you can you can enjoy if you are just reading out the question and you should have the fundamentals it's a very easy to analyze the question with the logical a uh, uh, way with the logical testam testimonial things the following sentence has been split into four segments identify the segment that contains a error here comes the bus for a first of all i would like to i would like to communicate you this question is a very important question very important question why first of all you should focus on this listen to me h here there these type of words are called adverbs of place adverbs of place so guys when any adverb of place because i want to explain it a little bit a uh, more why because this is a very important question from examination point of view here there and lots of other words also so i am talking about simply uh, keeping in mind this question when you see here and there first of all you should understand adverbs of place and when adverbs of place coming beginning of the sentence at the beginning of the sentence it makes inversion it makes inversion it makes inversion this is a very important thing so you should understand first why because most of the students are in the habit of just what drilling the mind and simply thinking that how it is possible yes this is possible sentence here come the verse for lucknow so come is wrong here because the subject is the bus the subject is your bus the bus is your subject and the bus subject is singular subject is singular so guys you should take as a correct option what should be the correct comes not come so this part is error part so your answer is c now next question select the incorrectly spelt word and two is correct spelling t r i u m p s triumph is correct what is the triumph mean win triumph means win victory and process is also correct sandwich spelling is wrong because the spelling of t should be removed next select the option that expresses the given sentence in active voice yes 
द ग्रोइंग पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया विल हैव बीन कंट्रोल्ड बाई द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट बाई ट्वेंटी फोर्टी एंड गाइज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन बिकॉज द सेंटेंस इज ऑलरेडी इन पैसिव वॉइस यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट द एक्टिव स्ट्रक्चर सो दैट्स वाई यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गो थ्रू एंड दिस अ बेसिक क्वेश्चन very basic question and based on tenses so just go through by 24 the indian population will have continued to grow uncontrollably by 20 the indian government will have controlled the growing first of all read out the question what is your question the growing population the growing population of india will have been controlled by the indian government it means the passive of this sentence belongs to the basic active of what future perfect so you have to choose the future perfect in this option so first why the indian population will have continued to grow uncontrollably the indian government will have controlled the growing population and by 24 the indian government successfully controlling the growing population of india the indian population will have subside this one is a wrong answer and now choose the answer first select the option that expresses the given sentence in a active voice active voice you have to choose so this is this one is the passive voice have been controlled is the passive voice so by to the indian population will have will have continued to grow uncontrollably this is also wrong by 2040 the indian government will have controlled the growing will have controlled the growing population of india so your answer is b not this one and not this one so very easy by 2040 the indian government will have controlled the growing population of india now this is the growing population of india will have been controlled by the indian government by 24 the uh, simply the indian government will have controlled the growing population of india and now select the option that can be used as one word substitute for the group of words one who loves mankind all words are very important first of all what is atheist what is atheist atheist what is theist what is agnostic these are very important words we should keep in mind atheist means one who has no faith in god atheist means one who has no faith in god theist means having the absolute faith in god and agnostic doubtful about the existence of god doubtful about the existence of god so extra knowledge for uh, just like a explanatory part i am just giving you some extra knowledge about the word so at first of all go through the question one who loves mankind this is not answer this is not answer this is not answer answer is that but philanthropist it means a person who is involved in doing the welfare of the people and a person who loves to do something good for common people that is called philanthropist in hindi that is called paropkari dusron ka upkar karne wala just kalyankari karjon ko karne wala and now the explanation of options atheist i have already told you what's the meaning of optimist optimist is one who always looks the brighter side of the life aashavadi जो जीवन के बहुत ही सकारात्मक पहलू को देखता है दैट इज कॉल्ड ऑप्टिमिस्ट एंड व्हाट्स द मीनिंग ऑफ पैसिमिस्ट वन हु ऑलवेज लुक्स द डार्कर साइड ऑफ द लाइफ डार्कर साइड ऑफ द लाइफ दैट इज कॉल्ड पैसिमिस्ट मींस अ पर्सन हु ऑलवेज इन्वॉल्व इन जस्ट लुकिंग द डार्कर साइड आई मीन टू से दैट निराशावादी 
नेक्स्ट सिलेक्ट द इन करेक्टली स्पेल्ट वर्ड दिस स्पेलिंग यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द करेक्ट स्पेलिंग दिस इज अ वेरी इजी आई होप दैट यू शुड नो दिस इज करेक्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट दिस स्पेलिंग इज नॉट करेक्ट सो डबल एल इज नॉट करेक्ट ए एल आई एम ओ एन वाई ऑनली दिस वन इज करेक्ट स्पेलिंग ए एल आई एम ओ एन वाई एंड वॉट्स द मीनिंग ऑफ एलिमनी एलिमनी इज एन अमाउंट विच इज डिसाइडेड बाई द कोर्ट टू द डिवोर्स बाइफ दैट इज कॉल्ड एलिमनी नाउ सिलेक्ट द मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट सिनोनिम ऑफ द गिवेन वर्ड जुडिशियस दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड जुडिशियस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड गाई जुडिशियस मीन्स इन हिंदी विवेकशील इन इंग्लिश प्रूडेंट इन इन इंग्लिश सेगेसियस दीज आर द सिनोनिम्स बट सेगेसियस हैज अदर मीनिंग ऑल्सो सो प्रूडेंट इज वेरी क्लोज सिनोनिम ऑफ जुडिशियस जुडिशियस मीन्स प्रूडेंट and you have to synonym you have to say so select the most appropriate synonym of given word judicious so guys uh, options are not correct synonym select the most appropriate synonym of the given word synonym means similar meaning and judicious judicious similar meaning sensible careless imprudent sorted this one is wrong this one is wrong this one is wrong only this one is correct but its another meaning is also prudent prudent so very important that's a very important also so guys you should keep in mind select the most appropriate option to fill in the blank to fill in the blank which do you usually take to reach your office why because these are the very close words and that's why uh, most of the guys are simply uh, confused at this point usually take to reach your office so this one is not correct because it is related to tree the root of the tree and root is also not correct behavior rude is related to behavior sometimes you say that very rude behavior and this one is also not correct because it's a just like a kind of a throng a, a, a kind of just like you can say that people in a very large number and this route is correct option select the most appropriate synonym of the given word extol this is a very important word very very important extol means to praise someone in a very great and high manner kisi ki bahut hi adhik prashansa karna ya kisi cheez ki tareef karna somebody and something to praise so very easy to uh, understand punish is wrong answer and reward is also wrong answer dismay is also wrong answer praise why because dismay in dismay means just like if you are in a hopeless stage in a gloomy stage that is called dismay and punish is very easy but not necessary to discuss reward is also very easy but not necessary to discuss so your answer is praise now next select the option that can be used as a one word substitute for the given group of words author's explanatory remarks at the beginning of a book this is a very important and i would like to explain all these words in a very crisp and clear manner that's why i would like to draw your attention towards all these words what is preface first of all preface what is preface preface is simply written by the author it means any writer author poet involved in writing something are just like before the launching and beginning of the pages a starting of the any novel and book that is called preface in hindi it is called bhumika but what is forward it is just taken by some celebrated person famous person about as a remarks of the book that's a very important thing so 
author's explanatory remarks at the beginning of a book. Authors, it means here is the author ex involved. So author explanatory remarks at the beginning of the book. So answer is A. Not this one. Not this one. And not this one. But I need to explain all these. Bibliography, just like the list of books. Because biblio is related to book and graphy is related to collection and studies. And biography, we all know that. Biography, jibni, written by someone. And autobiography, written by himself or herself. Now, next question. Identify how will you say that the doctor treated the victims of the violence very carefully in the passive voice. You, you need the passive voice. So very simple. Uh, first of all, you have to understand which part you have to choose as a uh, question. So first, identify how will you say that the doctor, the doctor treated the victims of the violence very carefully. The doctor treated the victims of the violence very carefully. So you have to choose the uh, passive voice. The doctor was very careful while providing, no, this is wrong. And doctor care was shown to the victims of the violence, this is also wrong. The victims of the, victims of the violence were treated very carefully by the doctor. The victims were treated. Yeah, this is correct option. This is the answers. And this one is also wrong answer. Because we all know that this active sentence belongs to what? Treated as a simple past tense. So when you are going to transform simple past tense into passive voice, you should keep in mind subject plus was were plus V3 and other words. Next. Sentence of a paragraph are given and just like uh, you can say that you have to just arrange meaningfully. Means make a meaningful sequence. The sentence in the correct order to form a meaningful and coherent paragraph. He sat in his seat. This is your first part. This is your first part. So he sat in his seat. And very easy. Kaha baitha wo? Beside the bed. So second part must be what? Beside the bed. And so you should under, try to understand what? B, B, after a S1, what, which option we take first? B part, beside the bed. And next, C part. Next one is a C part. And next is a D part, at the patient face. And last one is A part. So answer is B. Now, select the most appropriate option to fill in the blanks. Hundreds of forms went bankrupt during the Bankrupt is what? Bankrupt means Diwalia. Also its synonym is insolvent. Insolvent is also syn synonym of bankrupt. So hundreds of firms means companies went bankrupt during the what should be? Not revision, not rescission and not remission, simply recession. Mandi. This is a very easy sentence. Kate Sankro jo companies thi, bo diwalia ho gai, mandi ke daur mein. That's a very easy to understand. So this is a child's play question. Now, close test. Guys, I would like to tell you, close test is a very important part of your preparation. Uh, for example, jumble sentences, closed test, reading section, these are very important part. Most of the students struggle a lot in these part because of lack of reading habit, lack of reading habit, lack of good vocabulary power. That's why. So 
Closed test is also based on vocabulary understanding. I mean to say that you should have uh, just like a huge repository of words and the appropriate use you should know, then it is possible to fill up the blanks. Because this is a, uh, you can say that blend of just like a combination of vocabulary plus grammar. Some parts of grammar also play very vital role in the closed test. For example, uh, prepositions also very important for closed test. Articles also very important. Conjunction very important. Determiners very important. Connectors very important. I mean to say that when you study connectors, conjunction is already included in that. When you study determiners, articles are already there. That's why you should understand ki how to approach the closed test. This is a very important. First important thing, some selective topics of English grammar you should go through. For example, the, the use of articles, I mean to say that properly, the use of prepositions, the use of subject verb agreement, these are very important topics and connectors, conjunctions, these are just at a glance, not deeply, at a glance at least fundamental and basic knowledge you should have. Then it is so easy. And now the second point is very important, diction. Diction means the appropriate use of the words. Which word is very important to fill up correctly? Because nowadays the trend of the examination, the close options are given to choose. For example, uh, apart from this section, to make you understand, I am giving you a few words in terms of understanding. For example, invade, attack, assail, assault. All words means hamla karna. But why all words are not used in the same manner? Because having the fundamental difference and appropriate use are very respectively. I mean to say that in a very different way. That's why it's a very important part. First of all, you should know the theme of the paragraph. Vocabulary part also very important. When you are choosing the options, you should choose the correct option and introspect, analyze the option very fast and quick. Because you don't have too much time, you don't have much time. I, I don't say too much because you don't have much time, sufficient time in the examination to think more and more. So just like a rapid practice is very important and rapid practice is how possible when you go through just like a different types of closed test, different types of passages, then you just accuracy, time and accuracy is very important. In how much time you just solve the entire paragraph correctly and what's the score that matters. So now I am going to read out the passage. Changes to the earth climate. Changes to the earth's climate driven by increased. And this is a very important, actually environmental topic. And so far as the environmental topic is concerned, nowadays it has become a trend of the examination because environmental topic, social issues topics are very important. Economic issues topic, very important. So one of the most important topics is environment. So you should be very careful when you are practicing, be very pragmatic in your approach to practice. So, so far as the earth climate driven by increased, why? Heat trapping greenhouse gases. It means ki what impacts, what lays impacts, what makes an adverse condition of the environment, talking about. So very easy to eliminate the options. Feeding is not possible, horror of option. And fertilization is why not at all, because we are talking about the environment. Creation is also wrong, so emission is your answer. Why? Because we all know that different types of companies, chimneys and vehicles, what, what releasing? Emissions. That's why emissions is correct answer. And now the second uh, question is very important. Greenhouse gases are already having widespread effects on the environment. It means the very huge impact on the environment in a bad manner. Green, uh, so that's a very important effects on the environment. Shrinking of the glaciers. Now glaciers are just shrinking. 
B, just what? We are damaging the glacier. So that's why it's a very important. And ice seeds, occurrence of shifts in the flower plant blooming times. It is you are creating an overall, overall what? Second, second overall what? Imbalance, imbalance, not despondency, imbalance. So here is must be imbalance. Because hunger and cavity is not possible. Now select the most appropriate option to fill in the blank number. Mobs and people, community. So now guys, here is advanced to the point where whole have had to recall it. Here it must be communities. Communities is the important. Why communities? Look at hunger, uh, sorry, mobs, no, people, no, conditions, no, because relocate a particular group at particular place, you want to relocate due to havoc of earthquake, due to the havoc of flood, due to the havoc of deluge. For example, the, the, today is a Himachal at, at risk. What people are relocating? So communities are re relocating. So community is the correct answer. Number four. Uh, number four is putting people at risk of the effects of human caused global warming. So f number four. Number four option is famine. Because drought creates famine. Drought is what? Sukha. And famine is what? Akal. When drought continues, definitely the deficiency and lack of the crops and food. That's why famine is correct answer. And select the most appreciative. And now, five, for people alive today and will worsen as long as humans keep feeding greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. So, five. Very important, irreversible. Irreversible is the correct answer. Why? Because irreversible. Reversible means can be changed and irreversible means cannot be changed. When things went wrong, for example, adverse, then you can't change, you can't alter. So that's a very important answer, irreversible. Because heartbreaking cannot be possible because its meaning is a very melancholy stage, pensive stage, so it's not possible. And conditional is also not possible answer. Over. Last. This one is the last. Okay, guys. So now the discussion part is over. And uh, I hope that uh, uh, so far as my endeavor is concerned, I tried my best to just to try to remove and dispel your confusion and doubts. And so far as a very analytical discussion. But finally, I would like to give you uh, just like uh, some basic trips uh, that is very significant part of your preparation. Jumble sentences, closed test and reading comprehension. Very important. So far as the vocabulary preparation is concerned, it's a self preparation, definitely. But the analyzing the word is very important. Second important thing is very important how to use the word in appropriate way that makes you very healthy in closed test. 
that makes you very healthy in jumbled sentences also and reading comprehension also so all the three topics jumbled sentences reading comprehension and close tests are very significant from examination point of view thank you very much and please keep in mind one very important thing thousands are uh, very motivational words i will i like to share with you thousands thousands are uh, just like victory has thousands of father victory has thousands of father but defeat is an orphan this is a very important motivational points to keep in mind victory has thousands of father but defeat is orphan it means when you are successful lots of people come and embrace you applaud you praise you but when you are defeated nobody comes near to you thank you very much for attending this lecture thank you very much